Humboldt's families to this week's Sunday Storytime. Get ready to mark your calendars with this week's news and upcoming events. This is followed by a new story for the week. I can't wait to find out what it is. Then you can practice the Mindful Minute strategy with our school counselors, Ms. York and Mr. Toy. Stay tuned. In this week's events at Baltz, there is also no school on Monday, September 26th in recognition of Rosh Hashanah. También no hay escuela el lunes 26 de septiembre en celebración de Rosh Hashanah. Back to School Night is happening on Tuesday, September 27th from 6 to 8 p.m. This is an in-person event and we are looking forward to welcoming you into our classrooms so that you can learn more about the curriculum and have a glimpse into what your child does each day. Noche de regreso a la escuela será el martes 27 de septiembre de 6 a 8 p.m. Este es un evento en persona. Esperamos que pueda visitar el salón de su estudiante, conocer el currículum y qué es lo que hace su estudiante diariamente. The last week of September is MTSS Spirit Week. On Monday, there is no school, but Tuesday, we're going to celebrate with Spirit Day. Wear your vault wear. Wednesday's Mismatch Day. Mix up something. Try to wear some mismatched pieces of your outfit. Thursday is Crazy Hat or Hair Day. And Friday is Color Wars. Kindergartners all wear red, first graders orange, second grade yellow, third grade green, fourth grade blue, and fifth grade purple. En la última semana de septiembre, tendremos la semana de celebración de MTSS. El lunes no habrá clases. El martes los estudiantes pueden ponerse ropa con el logo de nuestra escuela. El martes pueden ponerse una ropa que no combine. Trata de mezclar su atuendo. El jueves pueden ponerse un gorro loco o hacerse un peinado loco. El viernes es día de colores. Estudiantes de Kinder deberán de ponerse ropa de color rojo. El primer grado, naranja. Segundo grado, amarilla. Tercer grado, verde. Cuarto grado, azul. Quinto grado, morado. Remember, the doors open at 8.45 a.m. No students should arrive on campus prior to 8.45 because there is not any supervision until 8.45 when the doors open. Recordatorio. Nuestras puertas abren a las 8.45. Ningún estudiante deberá de llegar antes de las 8.45, ya que no hay supervisión. Solo hay supervisión hasta las 8.45 cuando abrimos las puertas. Walkers will enter the school through the front door at 8.45. Car riders should enter the car line on the district side and drive around the side of the building where they will be um, let out in the back. Bus riders will be dropped off in the front circle. Estudiantes que lleguen a la escuela caminando entrarán por la puerta principal a las 8.45. Estudiantes que lleguen en carro deberán formarse en la línea de carros al lado del edificio por el área del distrito y una persona les ayudará a abrir la puerta. Estudiantes que lleguen en el autobús entrarán por la puerta principal. Dismissal begins at 3.40. We have a closed campus beginning at 3.15 in order to provide for the safety of all of our children. No students will be released for early dismissals after 3.15 unless it has been prearranged with the office. Información para la salida. La salida empieza a las 3.40. Tendremos la escuela cerrada empezando a las 3.15 por motivo de seguridad. No habrán salidas tempranas después de las 3.15. Solamente si ha sido previamente aprobada por la oficina. Good evening, Paul's families, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Storytime. My name is Miss Jocelyn, and I am a para in second grade. Tonight, I will be reading Paletero Man. In the hottest month, on the hottest day, in the city of Dreamers, California, LA, I grab my dinero and make my way to find my friend, Paletero Jose. Pushing his cart full of cool treats, bailando, he dances to mariachi beats. He has dozens of flavors, mmm, I can already taste. Will he have my favorite? There's not a second to waste. There's Tio Ernesto, he has tamales today. No gracias, Tio, where's Paletero Jose? Ring, 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 can you hear his call? 
Paletas for one. Paletas for all. Un aroma is calling. Caught in the breeze. It's a barbecue smell coming from Miss Lee's. Hola, querido. Would you like a sample today? No, gracias, señorita. Where's Paletero Jose? Ring, ring, ring. Can you hear his call? Paletas for one. Paletas for all. The only way to beat this heat is with an icy cold paleta treat. There's my friend from the bike shop. Lo siento, Frank. There's no time to stop. Ring, ring, ring. Can you hear his call? Paletas for one. Paletas for all. Will he have all the flavors, the colors I love? Horchata, canela, the kind I dream of. Chocolate, elote, sandia, o fresa. Arroz con leche, miel, o cereza. Ring, ring, ring. Can you hear his call? Paletas for one. Paletas for all. Here he is, Paletero Jose. Finally, I'll get cool on this very hot day. Oh, your niños, what will it be? He has all of my favorites. Can it be true? Chocolate, vainilla, y melon, too. But today, I'd like piña. Do you have that sabor? He smiles a big smile. Claro, para ti, el mejor. I reach into my pocket to pay for my paleta. Mi dinero, my money, está perdido. It's missing, it's lost. A donde se ha ido? What will I do? What can I say? How can I buy my paleta today? And just at that moment, who do I see? My neighborhood friends, Tio Frank and Miss Lee. We called out your name when we saw your coins drop, but you must have not heard us because you did not stop. Muchas gracias, amigos. What would I have done? I guess I dropped my money when I was on the run. Kindness for all, shouts Paletero Jose. I have a surprise that will brighten your day. Oye, amigos, paletas on me. Because of your kindness, the paletas are free. Whether it's stormy or whether it's sunny, whether or not you have any money, I'll always help out an amigo in need. Yo te prometo, an amigo indeed. In the hottest month, on the hottest day, we have fun in the sun with Paletero Jose. Ring, ring, ring. We can hear his call. Paletas for one, paletas for all. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to tune in next week for another episode of Sunday Storytime. Have a good night. Bears, welcome back to another episode of Mindful Minute. This week, we're going to talk about hurtful words and how to be kind to others. So words can be very hurtful, and we need to be careful of what we say because we never know how it affects somebody else. Let's think of these apples like the heart we have inside our bodies. When people say unkind things, it can make us feel sad. Sometimes you can't tell how words make us feel on the inside. So think of some unkind words that you might have heard. Um, now let's pretend that some of those unkind things that you heard were said to the apple that Ms. Yurik is holding. Look how sad this apple looks. But sometimes we can't always see that from the outside. Now my apple, people have said kind words to. Notice the smiley face. Now what we're gonna do next is Take a look inside of each my apple and Ms. Yurik's apple and see what happens on the inside when people say unkind words to us or we say unkind words to others. So both apples look very similar on the outside. They're both red. They both almost have the same shape. But if we turn to the inside of the apple, we notice my apple doesn't have brown spots, it's not bruised, but if you look at Miss Yurik's apple, all the mean words that were said to her apple, they're feeling it on the inside. You notice some of the bruising on this side and on this side. So the unkind words were affecting the apple on the inside. So if you think about the next time you might have something unkind to say to a friend or a classmate or even a teacher or staff member here at Baltz, just remember that although they might not look like it affects them on the outside, on the inside, it could affect them in a completely different way. 
The important thing is to think before you speak. Think about how your words might affect others. And as always, just always go by the old saying, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. Thanks for watching another episode of Mindful Minute. We'll see you next week. Go, go Bolts! Bolts. It's Miss Persani, and I'm here with this week's big questions, and we're changing it up a bit. Last year, we did it on pencil and paper and put them in the blue boxes in the hallway, but this year, we are going digital. Every week when Miss O'Neill sends that email to your parents about everything going on at Bolt, be sure to check out the Sunday Storytime YouTube series and the link for the question. So you'll just click on the link, it will take you right to the question. You put your name, your teacher, your homeroom, and your grade, and then you just answer the question. And the cool part is there's going to be multiple ways to get there. You can go through, like I said, Miss O'Neill's Sunday email. You can go through Dojo. We're going to post it there. I even have, now that I'm your librarian, my own library website. It's booksrock.org. And if you go there, you'll see at the top, it says Baltz Families. If you click on that, it'll take you right to the big question. Click on that big question picture and it'll send you right there. And the cool thing about it is all of the teachers are listed for you. So you don't have to worry about spelling it wrong or making a mistake. You just put your first name, your last name, choose from the row of all the teachers, their homerooms and their grades, and then answer the question. Click submit and you are done. I hope you love this new way for us to try. I think it's going to be great. Don't forget, the answers are still going to be due by Wednesday night because Thursday morning I'll be going through, checking all the answers and seeing what we have. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget, you rock. Bye, guys. See you later. It's Miss Persani. Don't forget to like and share this video. And also, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss another episode. Thanks for watching, and don't forget, you rock. In five, four, three. I'll always keep out. Like our heart that we have inside our bodies. Thank <laughs> you.